Hi everyone, welcome to the opensource.com weekly top five, live from Los Angeles, California at the 13th annual Southern California Linux Expo. I'm Jason Hibbets, community manager for opensource.com, subbing in for Jen Y. Kuger, who's on vacation this week and hopefully not thinking about this week's top five video. Uh, we ask you that you tune in every week by subscribing to our YouTube channel and visit our top five video playlist to get uh, the best of opensource.com every week. So let's get started with this week's top five. Coming in at number five, 11 ways to get involved with humanitarian FOSS. We start this week's top five with an article from Heather Leeson as part of our Beginners to Open Source Week. And it's also part of our Humanitarian FOSS column, something new that we recently started. Heather is a program manager and a community builder for global open source projects. She shares several ways that you can get started with HFOSS, including mapping, sharing, translating, and teaching, to name a few. More importantly, Heather has a grand vision and a big goal for HFOSS that can literally change the world, so be sure to check that out. Number four, redesigning the Linux video system from the ground up. Coming in at number four is an article from our Scale13x speaker interview series. I get a chance to interview John Cruz from Samsung to learn more about the Wayland project and how it's completely rebuilding uh, the set of protocols and standards that help get the pixels from computer software onto your screen and other devices. Number three, where do we stand 30 years after the founding of the Free Software Foundation? Community moderator Don Watkins interviews John Sullivan, who's the executive director of the Free Software Foundation. The foundation is a nonprofit with a worldwide mission to promote computer user freedom and to defend the rights of all free software users. In this scale 13 next uh, speaker interview with John, we find out the short-term goals for the foundation, their long-term vision, and how you can get involved. Number two, Nginx, the secret heart of the modern web. Coming in at number two is another article from our Scale Speaker interview series. Sarah Novotny of Nginx tells us about how she got involved with open source, what Nginx is, and the excitement around containers, particularly around how technologies like Docker fit into the Nginx roadmap. And finally, coming in at number one, a beginner's guide to GitHub. As part of our Beginners to Open Source Week, Alexander Todorovic shares his take on how to get started with GitHub. He helps us break down this particular Git repository hosting service and highlight some of the best features that you're, that you're going to want to use. So that's this week's top five. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Now I'm going to enjoy the rest of this conference here uh, in Los Angeles.